an Oklahoma school district is defending its decision to hire a drag queen as a school principal. Dr. Shane Brent Murnam, who was previously arrested on child pornography charges, is now the principal at John Glenn Elementary. The school defended its decision, saying that it followed usual hiring practices. And despite Murnam's now expunged criminal record, the school touted the principal's, quote, outstanding reputation as an educator. Murnam admitted to his bad choices on his drag page on Facebook, but he added that teaching kids has been a rewarding experience. Meanwhile, on Sundays, Mernon performs at a gay bar featuring farcical church services and drag queen magic. Uh, uh, you talk about how I talk to people on YouTube. The <laughs> like a poor you. drag queen. Look, an elementary school. <laughs> this is insane. Yeah, Look, I see him at high school. You know what I'm Why saying? Why are you showing them photos like this? <laughs> I rebuke. This is wild. I'm telling you, you gonna talk to. Him. Hey, look, look, everything I say, Q be like, hey, logic, wait, stop. you can't be doing that like that at a full ass in a dress. A I'm, full I'm gonna... in a dress. Look at this. Oh, what you think they gonna do to them kids? Are you doing? <laughs> Why is he posting like that? It's horrible. They well, well, I was kidding. I'm from. I'm from Kansas, not a. So, mind you, right? So, this guy, 20 years ago, he was arrested for um, allegedly chi child por corn pornography, and they couldn't prove it. The charges was dropped because they couldn't prove it because they said they couldn't, um, they didn't know the age of the children in the pictures, right? So, the district is getting big backlash from parents and letting the superintendent know that this is a problem. But the district says he's a role model. He's been in school districts for 20 years. He has good referrals. But if he's teaching this and doing library sessions with kids and reading books and being in drag and on the weekends, this is his lifestyle. Should this become a play into, would this be accepted for you guys if you guys had kids in his school? Would this be okay as a principal? Hey, Honcho, would they would y'all would y'all trap niggas let her Fuck teach no. y'all kids? Hell no. What would y'all no. do? Nah, that bitch won't even come nowhere near my kids, bro. Like, I'm that's not even a well, it is a but that's not even a real female type shit, but that that would be nowhere near my school districts, bro. Like, nah, fuck that shit. That's weird though, like that's weird. That looked like a whole bro, like he just put a dress on. And some makeup on his face, and then he a girl now. That shit crazy. That shit crazy. Quentin, because this is your city, and I know you're okay with certain things. So, would you be okay, your daughter, going to school with the principal, does this on his outside world, outside activities? If my um, daughter uh, went to the school district where her mother lives, that's what school she would be going to. That wasn't my question. Would you be okay with this? No, that's why my daughter doesn't go to school where her mama lives. We okay. go to where I go to school. There's two percent black people. That's where I, that's how I like it. The but it's a white man. This is a white man. What does this got to do with race? Um, that they wouldn't. The white people wouldn't allow that in their school. That school is like a low budget. Like they're about to disband the school district. Is where this dude works at. Like, it is a white school. What are you? What no, are you it's like there's no. That's Mexicans. It's Mexican okay. people. That's that's Mexican people schools. And it's, okay. but the school district is like the worst of of the state. So it's fine. But Quinn live in a wild, a wild city. Stop, Anton. I don't want to stop. He he really does, bro. Quinn lives in a really wild city. I visited the city. Uh, that was the same time that Quentin was hiding from me. So I pulled up and uh, I came into the airport and Quentin was. <laughs> Quinn was hiding around the gulf, around the, uh, the big old post. And I said, Quinn, is that you? And every time I went around, he would go around like this. <laughs> so I couldn't find him. <laughs> but no, as soon as, I land, as soon as I landed in that city on the real, um, I don't know what's wrong. Like, that city is like a swinger city. It's just, it's just, it was just crazy. Like, it was insane. Like, everybody was about, like, yo, come, bu come buzz down my chick. It was just a we it was just it was like it was like yo come bust down my chick or whatever. 
You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. It's just a weird city. That's the wild. That's one of the wildest cities I've ever been to. Hmm. Anybody else want to comment? Albo, you want to unmute? Yeah, I'm. I'm having. Can, can you hear? Boy. I don't get how y'all service can work while we're in the back. Albo, you're yeah, muted. Yeah, yeah. You're muted back. Unmute. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you can hear me fine. Yep. Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you, bro. I think I'm Parkinson. He froze like a bitch. Um, I have to be honest with you. Uh, the rest of us look at this and we're wondering, what is going on with you people? Like, you people? <laughs> how is this you people? such Isn't a big black? thing? Yeah. That, no. No, no, I mean Americans. <laughs> Americans. Oh, okay. I'm just saying, you know, come here with Jason. I'm just We got to do one mic because we can't hear his <laughs> service already. <laughs> Go ahead, Abo. So the, the thing is, personally, I think there's something bigger to play because I... It's it's one of the most ridiculous things anyone can do anywhere, but it is propped up by your government, by your big institutions, by corporates. So personally, this wouldn't happen here yet. Although looking at what has been happening in the last few few years, I think that can just be. I'm actually in Nairobi. I hope uh, guys, <laughs> it's. I, I know that this is going to come to us very soon. And although I've seen this a lot, I saw some guy in Canada wear this huge breast, like prosthetic breasts and walking around, like I think he was trying to make a point or something. So why is that such a big thing? I, I guess it's any, it's any of our guesses. But I, don't, I don't understand it personally. And especially in that role with your kids. I've been hearing the reading to your kids teaching them how to what how to do blow jobs i've seen some books that have that in there like something is terribly off that's my well, I, could, I could tell i can tell you exactly minute, we, the translator gonna come in like 10 minutes though so hold your thoughts all right the translator well, I, I can tell you exactly what's off usually, usually it, you know the, the the biggest problem is honestly is that um it's too many single parent households and single mothers. No, it is. That, that's exactly right. And so a lot of times what happens is what you see happening in the government today is just a reflection of the power shift of, of allowing women to be able to, I mean, just be honestly, allowing women to be able to pick your legislators, be able to pick your leadership. A lot of times they serve in leadership roles and they're the ones that's determining what's happening within your cities, what's happening within the households, what's happening within the government structure, even locally. And so now you have a situation where the prisoners are now running the asylum. And in a lot of instances, because we are, you know, a structured, advanced society, right, that goes by whatever rules are put in place at that particular time, you are now handcuffed because you subjected to the wills and the ways of whoever the majority vote, right? A democracy can work in, in both ways. It can work good and it can work bad. It can, be, it can work good because it prevents a dictatorship. You know, it, 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 it prevents absolute power, but then it can work bad because when you give everybody the ability to be able to weigh in on a subject, a lot of times the majority rules. And in most instances, in every advanced society, the majority of the people are the ones that's the most ignorant. The majority of the people are usually the women, right? The majority of the people are usually the ones that's the least educated. The majority of the people are the people that's younger, that hasn't had experience to even be able to weigh in on the subjects, right? So when you see this happening, you, you basically see a change in the guard because people have wrestled power against the ones that actually has the best interest in heart. And usually at that time in America, Unfortunately, that happens with, within single parent households. So that's really what's happening within society today. You got the prisoners running the insane asylum. And um, and what makes it exponentially worse is then you have men that simp out for it, right? You got men that support it, men that, men that jock, men that ain't never gonna ever touch no these chicks pussy in their entire life, but then they be acting like they support them and they don't even be knowing what they be talking about. And it's, it's, it's a wild situation, but 
it just is what it is. That's, that's how the that's how the game is played. So everything goes down as a result of le- of leaving power away from the person that actually deserves to hold it. It's unfortunate. I have a question. Have a question. Um, is this something that like the principal come to school dressed as, or is this like the principal come to school in like male clothing, and then that's what he does like on the outside? So the principal comes as like a male, a male person to school, but on his activities um, during the weekend, that's where he dresses and performs. I'm guessing that on his Facebook, that's where he kind of make it known that this is what he does. And then, you know, TikTok makes things viral. And then that's how it came about that. That was his lifestyle on the weekends. I mean, then like, that's what he does on the outside. Like I'm not in his bedroom. I'm not with him when he does that. My child is not with him. If he's the principal, like, I mean, I don't understand like what, what that had to do with the kids. So the character of a person doesn't matter of who, who's teaching the kids. I mean, to a certain extent. Now, the only thing that I have concerns about is that he had child porn, uh, allegedly. That's the problem. I look more, not what he's doing on his own time outside of the school, but is he sexualizing children? Now, that's that's the bigger focus for me because just because they couldn't prove it doesn't mean that he didn't contain things that look like children. They could tell the age, but it was speculated that they were children. So they look like children. They didn't look like adults. So he's obviously has some type of kink or fetish. And I just want to make sure it's not the children. So I would remove my child just based on those allegations alone. Cause I wouldn't even want that person around my child, but what he's doing on his outside is teachers. That's probably strippers at night and then teacher by day. So we, we don't know that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but you don't we, think we, that life and die gonna affect that at some point? Like, you, ain't, you, ain't, you ain't even gotta go that far, Logic. You don't oh, even shit. have to go that far because you also gotta take into consideration that technology is a part of what we do, so you can't separate it, right? And the reason that you can't separate it is because we know that our kids, even when you go to college, the first thing you do is you go and go to rate my professor, or you go to figure out who it is that you're dealing with as far as the character of the person and whether they're going to be hard or whatever. And kids are more technologically advanced than ever. And so they want to know who it is that's teaching them and they're going to find out because you can't separate it. And that's a part of who you are. And because we, we, we got these old mindsets, but we're not embracing the new technology that comes along with it. We think that we can separate ourselves. And that's one of the reasons why we so far behind because the character of a person matters. So you can't separate it just from the simple idea that, who you are off online is just the same as who it is that you're going to be dealing with the person that's teaching you. That's a, and then B on top of that, what about the ideologies, right? What about ethics and morals when they go to those type of classes? What about, you know, all of the different things that's input into your child outside of just the math and the English, because that's not what they teach them, right? They teaching them all kind of, all kind of stuff. They teaching them religion. They teaching them, you know, you know, how to think they, they teaching them, what it is that you think is right and wrong. And so all of those things matter as far as the character of a person, even when, even if it's not the kids. The first thing that I look for when I'm hiring somebody is I go straight to their social media to understand the type of person that they are. Because that tells me whether or not you're going to be a cultural fit or if you're going to be a person that upends whatever it is, culture that we put inside of the, of the organization in order to foster the, the best environment for the, for the employees. So I need to know who you are. And if I'm going to research you on social media, why would my kids? Because this is the, this kid, is, the this kids is, even research the parents. Well, I was gonna bring this to be Taylor, right? You don't think values play a role? Because, like, you put it like this: if I'm a sick man, if I'm a sick motherfucker, right? You don't think that the values that make me sick is not going to eventually spill over? <laughs> I mean, say, just like, just like if, I'm, I'm going to give you an example. I'm, well, it, it, it's, it's not beat Taylor. I don't want to double team her for anybody, right? If you're a feminist and you're teaching an all girl school, do you not think that my feminist ways and my feminist value going to spill over in my teachings and basic conversations and basic policies that I pursue? Same thing. If um, LGBTQ, and I have access to a lot of kids at a young age. Do you not think that these are my values? That's why 
when you look at a lot of corporate America, a lot of politicians, they and, and a lot of military, in order to get to a certain level, you had to be married with kids because they know that you had that value, you had that foundation. So now you're not going to go off the off the side of the cliff. But what we're doing now is we're knowing that. Like these things, if they because they used to say to yourself, they used to say to Americans is this. If I have a heterosexual man that's married to a heterosexual woman with kids, they would look out for the best of the nuclear family. But now if you got a transformer as a principal, can you really trust that she will put her values, what she truly believes, to the side mm-hmm. and then now look out for the best interests of your kids? Because keep it in mind, your kids spend more time with that transformer than they do with your monkey ass. Mm-hmm. And I got a real example as far as that goes. My son's teacher. Oh, you look you know. like a school teacher. You look like a kindergarten school teacher. <laughs> Uh, when, when, when he was finding out who his teacher was and I was telling her, I said, hey, a lot of the boys, including my son, they're in the boys club. And her response was, well, we have to change that. You have to put some girls in there. And I'm looking like, what's wrong with the boys club? And that just told me in that one instant who she is. And I'm like, hmm, I got to watch this. So changing it to this principal who, what kind of subtle things would he do when he has interactions with the students and what kind of programs would he present as far as musical productions and things that they do at these elementary schools? I I, I would say, no, I, could, I, I wouldn't want that. I wouldn't either. That's like saying, what if the principal was a racist, right? And he worked for a school that was half black, half white you know, like their character is going to come out some way, somehow when he's enforcing stuff with kids. Let's just be honest. This is a touchy subject because how many of these women teachers we see messing with these kids and getting a slap on their wrist, right? So I wouldn't, I don't want, I think those women should go to jail. I definitely, and they don't. So for this, I think this is, mm, I don't think this, I mean, he did keep his lifestyle. Wait, 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 wait. The woman should go to jail for what? You know, messing with them little kids. They go probation. A lot of them teachers get probation. You talking about the high school boys that be the boys that be busting the down? The teachers there? that mess with the kids. High school, middle school, it doesn't even matter what school. <laughs> Anton, I know you popped your cherry at 11, but no grown ass <laughs> Boys don't woman. have cherries, first of all. Let's be okay, clear. whatever y'all call it. No grown ass <laughs> woman should be messing with someone that's under 18. I don't even care what your so Wait, wait, wait. Anton, Anton, oh, you God. think that a 15 year old teacher should uh, suck and fuck on a goddamn. Uh, a t- <laughs> whoa, wait, wait. I just a want a clarification as to get no. fucking sucked by a, a grown ass teacher. No, that's not what I said. I just wanted the clarification as to who it is. No, 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 no. 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 Listen, listen. He, he's that, okay with it. That. We've had this discussion. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. I'm not going to let y'all put words in my mouth. Q just made a statement. I wanted to get clarification. That's why I asked the question. That's all I, that's all I wanted to know. But we've had this conversation regarding these women teachers messing with these kids. And it's like they some of these guys on here that's been on the panel think that nothing can happen. They're getting their manhood. But if it was other way around, of course, is the standards. Oh, the man should go to jail. No, these women should go to jail, too. You can listen. Listen, y'all got to stop doing that, though. Y'all got to stop trying to compare men to women. And not thinking that double standards should exist in every situation. It's going to be a double standard for women that exists, right? And I don't want men to be in the same conversation as women because I wouldn't compare that, right? I would never compare a man to a woman and vice versa. And I think that gender roles exist for a reason. So we can't justify, and I'm not saying that they should anyway, but I'm just saying in general, we can't justify by saying, well, if it was the other way around, that's not a good argument because that, that's, well, see, that's you, never, you, you, that's you stepping on yourself, Anton, because this is based on what you said initially. This is not about gender. This is about character and values. Exactly. So no, like, no, 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 no. You, it's, if, it's if, always you, about but, but you had you had a whole speech about, about character and values. But do you mm-hmm. not understand that if a if a woman that's that's well in her 30s 
is messing with a 15 year old a child would she not lack character and values no it's always about gender gender always matters no 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 no, 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 no. gender no, no. all gender no no, 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 no i'm not gonna let y'all remove it gender no, uh, uh, always no, uh, uh, no. matters check out this well, all i'm saying to the question i just asked uh, put like this i gotta do this for y'all youtube niggas sometimes a human <laughs> who mess with another human the the first human is in their 30s the other humans is 15 no mm -hmm. gender involved would you automatically say that they lack character and values i wouldn't automatically say that you gotta get the act, fuck out of here nigga <laughs> and Tom, you're, I wouldn't automatically you're say crazy that. no 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 okay so i'll give you another example i'll give you another example if a if a old a lot older man, let's say a fifty year old man is talking to a nineteen year old girl, no 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 no, she's oh, not. Oh, oh, let, let, me, let me finish my example. You're messing the field. If a fifty year old man was talking to a nineteen year old girl, is legal? Y'all would still look at him as creepy. It's yeah, very creepy. Mm -hmm. Very, kind of very weird. It, it, but but if a 19 year old guy busts down a 50 year old chick, he just uh, she just a mom I love the fuck. She just a no, I think that's a little weird too. No, 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 wait, 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 you do not, no don't no, no, take no, no, the hook. No, 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 Anton, hold on, we're talking, but you can't do that. We're talking about do it we're talking about I'm, I'm showing kids, you, I'm we're showing talking you. about kids and adults. I'm not talking about the kid part. That's a but that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the principle. You can't you can't change the argument. To see here, yes, you're right if you're dealing with an adult, two adults. That's why I said, put like this. <coughs> okay, you, but you wait a minute. How, wait, 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 wait. But hold on. Adult. Hold on, hold on. My point is this, though. Because we're not talking about no high school, John. Because I, I don't advise anybody to mess with a high school kid or a middle school kid. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm well, talking topic, about. Though. That's what we're talking about. But when don't we go off topic? We always go off topic. We're not going to switch it up today. <laughs> my my point is is that y'all keep on trying to equate gender. You gotta go off topic to make his point, y'all. Come on, y'all. No, no, y'all keep on thinking. Y'all keep on thinking. Y'all y'all think with y'all. What what is an adult? Let's do it like this. What is an adult to y'all? What is an adult? Is it eighteen or twenty one? No. What is an adult? Whatever whatever you define an adult is. Tell me what an adult is. Adult is when you got I, I define an adult as a person that's weird. fully grown and developed. Fully grown. Developed. What is fully grown? Your brain is not fully developed until you in your mid-20s. What, what is an what is an adult? 25. 26. I would say 26, 27. Okay, so you tell me that women a develop a different is, Wait, 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 wait. Cuz now we got all of these different definitions. So you telling me that a 21-year-old is not an adult? Yeah. I I don't you see, mature, you see what I'm saying? Nobody can even nobody can even agree. This is the same problem that we have when we have any conversation, right? When you're talking about pro-black, everybody got a different definition. When you're talking about what an adult is, everybody got a different definition. Some people go based off of what the law says, but some people still think that that's creepy. Some people go by whether or not somebody's mature to handle something that maybe they're trying to justify their argument. Other people go by based off of whether or not you, a, you your brain is even fully fucking fucking developed. Because when you're 24, you're 23 years old, you still ain't even got a fucking fully developed brain. You know what I'm saying? So when y'all try to justify these arguments without having a logic behind it, y'all just talking to me. Y'all not even making no sense because you can't even substantiate why you saying what you're saying. Some of y'all think it's an adult because you got an agenda to push, right? So I think that y'all unreasonable and, and then to, to throw gender in it on top of it. Y'all just convolute the whole conversation because y'all don't even know what y'all talking about. Y'all don't have no clue of what y'all talking about. Well, this convo started with school because it was a drag principal. And then I, I took it to And then B. It, Taylor jumped off the bridge by saying that no, she was okay. No, Anti, you jumped B. off the Taylor jumped off the bridge. And lost your point. And, Wait, your point, and now we're here. We got to go I'm right not now. because because logic basically said that character matters. But character is not the only thing that matters. Morale. I would. Okay. Okay. Would you ever have a? Would you ever have a woman teaching? Would you ever have a woman as the head basketball of uh, uh, the boys' head basketball uh, basketball team? I mean, if she's good. <laughs> See there's, what I'm women, there's women. There's women coaches even, in the NBA. Even, 
It's no, they don't win no. either. They don't win. There so. are no female head basketball coaches in the NBA. Okay, not Zero. head, but there are barely Zero. no black head coaches. That don't mean they can't coach. There are black head coaches in the NBA. But there's not a lot. It, 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 it is. It, it's it, a ton it, of black head coaches. coaches. It's, 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 it's a whole lot of head, black head coaches. But my point, oh, my point coaches. is this. My point is this. It doesn't matter how good her character is. I don't want a fucking female head coach as the boys basketball coach. And Simply we should not want her gender. Okay, and we should want train a trans as a principal, right? I agree. I don't want. So no are we saying that? What, okay, the character. Are we saying that LGBTQ people shouldn't be teachers? Also, I don't think so. Are we saying that? Okay, so if we're separating like that, then then, then they're going to be like, okay, then black people shouldn't be teachers. Exactly. If you're pro, you then, you you then they're going to say you men shouldn't that. be teachers. Then they're going to be like, men shouldn't but be you teachers. can justify that, and the reason why you can justify why somebody can say black people shouldn't be teachers is the same reason that black people justify their argument and say we want somebody in office or we want somebody that's teaching our kids that look like us why shouldn't it be the other way around you can't have one without the other why shouldn't white people say we want people that's teaching our kids that look like us if black people can say we want people that's teaching our kids that's a reflection of us too